Mark Bryan and his Scots backstage with him. Let's hear from Brian Rowe. Brian, you're understandably upset. Try and put into words your take on the, the stoppage and what's just happened there against Carson Jones. Um, I, I'm absolutely devastated. Um, I, I can't describe how I feel right now. Um, I don't think it should have been stopped. Uh, he caught me, yeah, I felt a buzz, but it, Mitch Andre had hit me 50 times like that and, and I got hurt so many more times, but the ref gave me a chance. He, he didn't give me a chance, but I feel he gave him a chance. Um, I buzzed him um, and he had him going at one point and, and I had him going, I'm sure, worse than he had me. Um, I don't want to say anything out of line, but I, I, I'm, I'm raging. I'm absolutely, I, I don't get angry. I'm a calm sort of guy and I, and I want to apologise for the things I've done outside, I've kicked a few things, but you've got to understand my frustration. I, I, I'm, I'm so annoyed at the, the referee's decision. He stood in here 15 minutes before it and said that he'd give, me, give us both a chance if we, were both, if we were hurt. He didn't give me a chance. He did not give me a chance. I had my hands up. Um, I might have been hurt. Um, I felt a buzz, but I, I knew exactly where I was um, and I was just about to start um, firing my shots back. But it's not the way I fight. I cover up, um, let them l l let the shots go. Um, and he should know he should know that. And that I'm the sort of fighter that gets hit, I cover up, take him on my gloves, and he should have known that. It's very easy for me to stand here and say it now, but in hindsight, would you have taken a knee if, if you obviously if you knew the stoppage was coming? Of course, yeah, going back, going back, I'd, I'd take a knee because otherwise I would have got stopped. So, um, obviously, yeah, I'd, I'd take a knee because he felt the knee, but usually I can take them shots on, on my gloves. And that's what I was just about to start doing. He was going to come with a barrage of punches. I know that's what he was going to do, but I'd have soaked them up and it would have hit, been him in the long run using all his energy. That's how I fight. And he should know that as an experienced referee. He should know that. Um, I, I'm raging. I, I demand a rematch. I, did, I, I, I want something done. I demand a rematch. I'd, um, I, I, did, I hold my hand up. I was hurt, but so was he in the first round. They give him a chance, but they didn't give me a chance. I'll bring in your corner man, Bobby Rimmer. Bobby, you've been with Brian numerous times. Um, your take on it, what, were you, what was your advice as you were shouting? Yeah, I was, he got hurt, you know, and that's it. But I'm, I'm kind of lost for words. I'm never, ever in my life lost for words, but I'm lost for words today. I mean, it's the most ridiculous stoppage. I, I can't believe it. I mean, he was hurt, but I mean, as soon as Ian John Lewis grabbed him, I wondered what he was doing. I thought, what's he doing? I mean, I was expecting Brian to back up onto the ropes and cover up and come back with something. But Ian John Lewis just grabbed him and thought, what's he doing? I, I'm, I'm still flabbergasted now. I don't... It, it's terrible what's happened. It's not right, you know, in front of all these people. Ian John Lewis was stood in here before, giving us the big speech about, oh, yeah, you know, if you get hurt, I'll give you the chance and all this kind of stuff. He never gave him a chance out there today. You know, the fight was going until Brian got hurt. The fight was going perfectly how we wanted it to go. And then all of a sudden, Brian gets hurt and Ian John Lewis runs over, puts his arm around him, stops the fight. Granted, Brian did get hurt. That, that, you know, we're not saying he never got hurt and he was hurt, but he's, he's got a good chin. He recovers from punches like that. He recovers quick. As soon as Ian John Lewis grabbed him, he looked at me as if to say, what's going on? I didn't have a clue what was going on. But, you know, until it dawned on me, he stopped it. The thing that's got me the most is the fact that I hurt him, I buzzed him. Um, it wouldn't be so bad. He gave him a chance. Why not give me a chance? He's, not, he's just not giving me the chance now. It's very fresh at the moment, but I will ask you about your future going forward. Do you think you might need to drop down to domestic level or will you be lobbying with Eddie Hearn to get Carson Jones back over here? And what do you think the chances of that happening are? Um, he likes coming over here, doesn't he? Um, and I, and I, I don't want to blame him either. It's not his fault. So uh, I want to thank him for coming over and, and you know, coming into my backyard and fighting me, you know, every credit to him. But, um, yeah, I, I demand a rematch and I think something should be done about it because um, how I see it, it's worse because they gave him a chance um, but never gave me a chance and, and that's how we've all got to look at it because um, it's unfair. It's unfair. If I hadn't hurt him um, early on, um, then why not stop him? You know, I, I buzzed him and, and had him um, back to the ropes. Um, why, not, why not stop him? Um, I just don't. I just don't understand it. I just don't. I just don't understand the decision. I, 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 Demetrius Andre had hit me 20 times harder than that, um, and I was given the chance. I was given the opportunity, but I wasn't given the opportunity there in my hometown, in front of my my, my, my fans. He, he, he's not giving me a chance. What were your tactics going in? Uh, because, like you say, you did seem to to land and and buzz him and and have him perhaps hurt. But was that danger perhaps going in for the kill or going in for the finish? Um, 
No, not all, because at, at the time, I, I can remember everything. At the time, I was back into the ropes and I was just flicking out a jab. And he caught me. It, it's boxing, it happens. I knew I was going to get caught by him. And I, I knew maybe in the fight I was going to get hurt, but I never thought for one minute the ref would step in. Maybe I should have took a knee. And going back, I would have took the knee because um, he wouldn't have stopped the fight. But that's the only reason I should have took a knee. Because I, what I do, I take the shots and then so, soak them up on my gloves. That's the way I fight. Um, and the referee should be experienced to know that's how I fight. It's, it's, it's unfair. Thank you very much for talking to us and commiserations. I know it's very fresh and uh, all, all uh, credit to you for talking to us. Thank you. A devastating change room there with Brian Rose. Do you understand? Do you believe he, he deserves a, a rematch? Do you think he'll get it? Yeah, I, I do think he'll get it because Eddie has delivered before for Brian and I think he'll do it again. And Carson's just said he likes coming over here. So why not? And Carson will be confident. They've both got different views, like say, Brian, he's very confident he would have recovered. I went on to control the fight and gone to win. Carson thinks different, so I, I don't think he'll have any problem in coming over, and I think it's a fight we'll see again. Well, let's take a look back and see how it all unfolded. Uh, now, now, Brian started off pretty, pretty sharp, pretty smart. He was a top dog initially. He looked strong. He looked. It was the sort of start he needed to get. You know, he looked confident. He came out. The jab was working well, and then gets caught with a with a good shot there. And it was a good shot, but his hands are up. You know, he's he's looking to try and survive. But he's on his heels, and that's what worried the referee. But, but if, look, yeah, I mean, you know, he has gone back on his heels. It, it, it's one of those split decisions. Ian John Lewis has got to make that decision. But the thing is. He, you know, he hadn't been down. He wasn't taking punches at will. It was very early in the fight. I think there's, I think Ian John Lewis panicked a little bit when he stumbled. And I think, you know, how many how many fighters have we seen? In, how many how many great fights have we seen? The, 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 the great fights because one goes down, gets up, another goes down. The, the, the thrillers because of that. If, how many fights would we have been robbed of if the first time somebody stumbled? I understand. I understand. The fight had been stopped. I understand. There would never been a thriller in Manila. There would never been a rumble in the jungle. I'm it would have never happened. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Uh, Ian John Lewis went to jump in initially when he went on his heels, backed off, let the fight carry on, and again, uh, Brian Rose was back on his heels again, and that's when he jumped in. So was it a snap judge? I, I, I think. I think. I don't know what he was jumping in for the first time. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what he, what he did. He was on his heels, we could see him. No, no, when he first got it, what hit, he, he, he sort of half went in as if to, I'm not sure whether he was going to break them or whether whether he was going to look at them. I don't think he knew. And then when, when Brian stumbled backwards, he, he, he kind of already committed himself in that first in that first movement. And I think there was no, once he once he went between the two boxes, there was nothing look, else he could have done. Look, you, you Foot see, stopped it. Look here, the referee goes to step in, steps back, gets, gets a little... Gets a little frightened, steps so he's in. He's defending himself up. there. He's defending himself. He's still got his hands up. It's there. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think he he jumped in. But when when you've all of a sudden, when you've went between two fighters, what are you going to do then? You could you can't do anything else. You know, you you went between them. So watch his legs. Watch what his else is he going to do? It's a it's a second wobble. No, way, we know we know. Seemingly. Johnny, we know about the wobble. We you know everybody's done the silly dance and the moonwalk at times. From time to time, that's one. He's hurt once there. The referee clocks yeah, yeah, yeah. up. He sees that. Carson but Jones but keeps the pressure on. But he's on. tried to he's survive. He's doing the right thing. His hands are up. That's one. He's covered up. Goes to jump in again. He didn't let him box on. That's the third time he goes to stop it. No, but did, did before the stoppage, he just put his arm between them. Which, what, what, why, why are you putting your arm between them? You're not going to stop. You, you can't stop the action in a fight. And I think by then, Ian John Lewis had committed himself. And you know what? We've got to take it the other way. We've got to answer the question: What was Brian Rose getting shook up off a of welterweight so badly in the first round? If we if we take, play devil's advocate, that's one way to look at it. You know, he he also shouldn't have gotten shook up that much. You know, that that was nobody expected that, did we? Brian Rose will look at that. He'll think to himself: Actually, I got hurt a, a, a bit more than what I realised. Maybe Brian will watch it, and maybe he'll think Ian John Lewis has a point, but. He's feeling, but like you say, it's raw at the minute. You can see there, it's like any fighter in the same position. They'd react the same. But um, listen, the only way Brian can put that right is if they fight again. And I do believe it will happen again. They'll get that chance again. OK, so if it does happen again, Carson Joes now knows he can hurt uh, Brian Rose. He comes back a more hungrier, dangerous opponent.
Yep, he does do, but forget, Brian Rose was looking very good in until he took that right hand. He was looking strong, he'd hurt Carson Jones, he'd shook him up. We thought it might be an early night for him, like I said, so... <clears throat> we'd He's just going to go back, he's, he's going to have to work on a few things, but he was, he was almost caught cold and, like you say, Brian won't feel like he's lost, he's lost the fight, but he won't feel like he was stopped fairly, so I'm not sure how much of it he will change. We're seeing the tweets flying in, some people are saying it's controversial, some people are, are surprised by Carson Jones's uh, his punch power. You mentioned a, a welterweight jumping up and doing that to Brian yeah, Rose, is that an indication? Anybody that talked about this fight would not have said, um, would not have predicted Carson, Carson Jones is going to knock Brian Rose out in the first round. And said, no, no. Brian, you know, points, points, maybe he takes a point, maybe he stops him late, maybe he's too busy, maybe Brian is suffering, you know, and lost his confidence and lost everything after the Andrade fight. You know, that was, but not he was going to get, he was going to get, but, you know, rumbled up and, and stopped in the first round. You know, if he'd been down twice, if he'd been on the floor twice, getting up and was stopped then, I would have said, fair play. But for, for not to have, to get stopped when you haven't even been on the canvas, you know, I mean, we, you know, we complain sometimes of three knockdown rules, you know, saying, should that, should, that, should that be fair? But to be stopped without ever getting down when it's this important, you know, it's, an, it's, a, it's a fighter's career. This is what he does for a living. And now, you know, that living could be over. Okay. The